Alrighty, oh, morning everybody, and cast time once again, and, um, um, let me preface this by saying that, um, a fair amount of work went into making this one, so, and even then, I don't think I got it right, or, or I got it exactly the way I want it, so, so yeah, there's gonna be some moving parts, there's, uh, a good chunk of this was actually done, um, yesterday afternoon and evening, shortly after I did my stream, so, my head was probably in a different place. My head was in a different place at that time. So I might have, in process of this cast, I might have no idea as to why did I put that in there. So, like I said, um, a fair amount of moving parts in here. If something goes wrong, I'll let you know. And then if it gets really bad to where it's unrecoverable, I'll just go ahead and switch to the screen that you're looking at right now and I'll just. I'll just talk. I'll just talk the rest of the way. So. But anyway, um, the music. The music is, uh, Spectral Sorrow, uh, Demo 1. I, this is, uh, this is a side project of, um, I think I played this music before. Um, I know on one occasion, about a month, month or two ago, uh, Gray Friar. It was like all organ music, all, you know, church organ type music. Well, he's got a, this is, I've heard a little bit of this. It's kind of like dark organ music. Um, it's classified as dark ambient, but it might specifically, it, it, it's considered dark organ music. But anyway, let me, um, let me go ahead and rewind it back. Oh, and this is from, uh, this is from Dungeon Synth Sunday. I... Transmissions from the Dark. Um, formerly, the channel used to be called Order of the Black Arts, but recently they changed their name to Transmissions from the Dark. So, every Sunday, they put out a bunch of Dungeon Synth, a whole bunch of Dungeon Synth tunes, and I just go through them all, find out which ones are copyrighted and what aren't, which very few of them are. So, anyway, let's go ahead and fire that up. So, there's going to be a long long intro intro stuff and then they'll they'll show the actual album proper oh. Oh, the computer don't crash okay there we go yeah that that's also been a problem too recently um my computer must be bad enough it's getting bad to where just simply alt tabbing windows can cause my uh, computer to crash so yeah like I said, pretty bad. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and get her started. Um, so stream it it was just it was a short one. Um, just some bad sleep. Like I laid down at like 5 a.m. yesterday. Oh, and I also forgot to mention too. Um, this is this is also a late cast. I started this about 12:45 a.m. Usually I try to do these somewhere between 11 to 11.30 p.m. So like I said, I was a little late, a little late in getting this going because of all the, all the extra stuff I had to do. So anyway, um, there's, again, I got some bad sleep today. So by the time I got, or I woke up at 5 a.m., um, I woke up again for some strange reason around, I think it was around 10 or 11, I think. Laid back down, um, woke up again around noon for no apparent reason. And then just went ahead and laid back down, and then alarm went off about 1.30, woke up, shut it off, plopped back down. My second alarm went off at 1.45 p.m., killed that alarm, plop, laid back down for like 15 minutes, and, uh, fuck it, uh, and just practically forced myself out of bed, and man, it's practically forced myself out of bed and got the stream up and running and all that, so it just... It's, I'm, I'm hoping to hell it's not something like sleep apnea or something. <coughs> where, uh, where you stop breathing while you sleep. Like, you, like, technically you got eight hours of sleep, but when you wake up, it's like, you, you don't feel it. You wake up half asleep. I'm hoping that's not what I have, sleep apnea. Anyway, moving along. Um, so stream some cook, serve, delicious three. I'm really liking this game. 
Um. Oh, I forgot what I was gonna say. But yeah, anyway, um, I just uh tried out working on progression. I managed to get out of my starting zone, which is uh, which is Utah, and I'm now in the uh, second zone, for lack of a better word, uh, which is uh, no, I started in Idaho, then made it to Utah. Now I'm in the second zone. Um, scenarios are starting to get harder and kind of a kind of a weird twist. You're a food truck. It, uh, it gets attacked and like one of your one of your fryers is now unusable and you, you know that kind of thing so you're getting hit with random debuffs so yeah but again this was a short stream I think I was on like about an hour and a half uh, by that time I just so I just had a hell of a time trying to stay awake um, called it off and then it was right around that time I think I laid down for a nap got back up um, started up and just started working on putting this cast together um, especially when I was uh, I was checking out an article and that art in that article they explained probably one of the uh, one of the biggest drawbacks that I had with this game um it's uh you're basic basically you are not allowed any mistakes at all there is no there is no undo option you know when you're like creating your food items you're putting your you're putting your tomatoes on your hamburger you know stuff like that if you put the wrong ingredients on you can't undo it and uh and, and right when i read that um i i had a few flashbacks about that very same thing happening you know you're I'm putting together, putting together a hamburger, or putting together, I don't know the name of it. It's, it's some French dish where you got a, I think you have a big, I don't want to say burrito, like pastry dough, I guess. You just put a whole shit ton of ingredients in there. You roll, you roll it up, you roll it up, and then you take a, Take a blade, ching, 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 ching. You cut it into into five pieces. But it's it's a fairly long, involving process. And um, if you put if you make one single mistake throughout that entire process, um, it counts against you. Like um, how can I put? Like um, like in the in the game there, there's there's three metal there's three metals you can get. Uh, bronze, silver, gold, and there's also uh, no metal, like when you really absolutely suck. Uh, but yeah, in order, but in order to get a gold medal, you basically you have to get a perfect score. There can be no mistakes whatsoever. Now, I find this to be a bit too harsh, because once again, this game does not have an undo option. You know, once you place the condom, it you can't. You can't go back on it. So, so yeah, you, you get to me. You get punished too harshly in this game. And um, I looked at some of the, I looked at some of the parts of this game. Um, some areas require you to have enough gold medals to progress. And I'm guessing um, just merely doing story mode is. It's gonna require this. Like, you need a whole bunch of like gold medals just to make it to the final area or something. But uh, I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea. So, but going back to what I was originally talking about, it just and then not to mention, I mean, it's freaking, it's freaking unrealistic. You know, in real life, you know, if I was to put together a hamburger for somebody and I put, put if I put like a, a big old slice of tomato on there, and the guy's like, hey, I don't want that tomato. I don't want tomatoes on my hamburger. Okay, no big deal. Just simply lift the tomato off the burger and set it aside and no problem. You can't do that in this game. You know, you put, you know, you put a couple, you know, you put a couple pickles on there. I don't want pickles on it. 
Oh, okay. Just simply take the pickles off. You know, easy peasy. Can't do that in this game. Once you lay down the pickles and the customer didn't want them, you're fucked. So, but like I said, you, I've, I've, uh, I've had to end gold runs because of this. One little tiny mistake. So, I guess, and I, I just remember me saying this during my stream, stream too. You know, if you're gonna, a perfect day, if you're gonna do, or if you manage to get a perfect day, you shouldn't get a gold medal. You should get a fucking platinum medal or a, or a diamond award or something. I mean, a gold medal, you should be awarded a gold medal like if, if say, there, 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 there's four levels of customer satisfaction. There's, there is normal or there is mediocre, for lack of a better word, uh, mediocre, happy, ecstatic, and then um, if you really, really mess up their order, or if you don't fill their order quick enough, they get they get mad and stomp off, uh, angry, I guess. I would say to get a gold medal, you should um, you should maybe get no more, let's say, just to toss a number out there, no more than three, eh, you know, three ands. Eh or three, three mediocre ratings or something. No more than that. And then all the rest are happy or ecstatic. You know, kind of loosen up a little bit on the gold, on the gold medal. And then for the platinum medal, that should be your perfect score right there. And then platinum medals, I shouldn't, I would have want them to count towards story mode progression, but if you get enough, you know, maybe if you get enough platinum medals, you'll unlock something. Or you'll get, you'll get like one hell of a reward, or you know that kind of thing. So yeah, but like I said, um, quick recap: it's like you're punished way too harshly for your mistakes on this game. And um, it also goes kind of goes along the lines of pinball. Yeah, I actually drew a parallel between the two. Those that have watched me stream pinball all these years, yeah, I get pretty pissed off, you know. Especially when something like, like wizard mode multi-ball, you know, you know, make the, you know, make the flashing shots during multi-ball and you'll, you'll win wizard mode and you'll get a shit ton of points. Yeah, you know, fuck yeah, one hell of an achievement. But then all three balls strain, all, you know, all three at once. Yeah, I mean, yeah, of course they're going to be pretty pissed off. You know, but it's, it's, it's the same there too. I mean, I'm not whining, hey, <laughs> ball drain, you know, just for the sake of it draining, I'm, I'm mad because of the repercussions involved. Same, you know, same thing in pinball, same thing in uh, cook, serve, delicious. It's like, it's the mistakes are so freaking punishing. You know, the, the punishment doesn't fit the crime. I, to That sounds a little more accurate. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take another drink. You know, so I mean, I mean, once again, it's not—it's not the ball drain itself that really ticks me off as much as the the the, the punishing aspect of it. I guess I mean, unless unless it's a unless it's like Zachariah pinball, those that have seen my other cast videos, those that have seen my other pinball streams, uh, no love for Zachariah. It just the tables are so piss poorly designed. I mean, I've said it before; they're like pachinko machines with flippers. You know, flippers just thrown in as an afterthought. So if the ball drains in there, no, big, it doesn't bother me as much because the tables aren't really designed with flippers in mind. Again, if you if you uh, watched any of my streams, you'll kind of know what I'm talking about. The convoluted design that a lot of those tables have. So, but you know, you got say pinball arcade or you know Bram Stoker's Dracula. The goal on there getting three multi-balls going at the same time. So, and for the rare time that I actually do get all three multi-balls going at the same time, all of a sudden, all the balls drain. Just like that. I mean, hell yeah, I'm going to be pissed. Not because the balls drain, but because of the repercussions of it. So, you know, cook, serve, delicious, same thing. You know, I'm trying to make the mother of all dishes, or, you know, I might actually be trying to push myself trying to do something challenging, but when you make one little tiny error, and poof, it's all over. Like, the whole run, 
totally pointless. Thank God they have a restart, or they have a restart day option in that game. I've had to use that before. You know, I put in, you know, I put in green peppers and not red peppers. Boom, I have to restart the whole entire run just because of a little, little bitty mistake. So, you know, but at, at, the, at the same time, too, I, I really do like this game, just like pinball. So, you know, on one end, I'm definitely going to come back. You know, I'm going to come back and play this game again. But at the same time, too, it's just... Oh, I got an interruption. I have to do this somewhere real quick. I hope this doesn't cause my computer to restart. This is, a. Uh, I have to I have to loop this album. And once again, cool. So, you know, so pinball, you know, just like pinball, just like uh, cook, serve, delicious, I'm most likely going to be coming back. But, you know, I'm probably going to be a lot more grumpy about it, or I'm going to, you know, only going to push myself, you know, once in a while. You know, you, you kind of get the idea. So, but, um, but otherwise, after the stream, um, just did my, you know, lazed around, and like I said, unlike a lot of my other casts, I basically started making this cast, um, sometime right after I did my stream. So, normally, normally I do the, I put together these casts, like, usually like about an hour before I, before I actually want to put, I want to start making it. Usually like around 10, 10 30 p.m. You know, then just started making it then, but this time around, I think probably because I already knew what I wanted to say. So, or at least after I did the stream, I already knew what I wanted to say for at least that part of it. So I just went ahead and started working on that. But again, my uh, my thought process was totally different than it is right now. So. Um, anyway, uh, another big thing that happened is, uh, one of the videos that I watched during my, uh, lazing around period, um, Panda Fighting Games, they put one out, um, which fighting games have the best music, and as I've been, a uh, been a pretty heavy music aficionado for most of my life, you know, buying vinyl records, cassettes, CDs, um, listening to damn near anything, except, um, Except mainstream shit, especially shit that I have to hear at work every day. You know, including the music you're hearing now. That's how, you know, that's how that's how far down the rabbit hole I'll go, or how far down the music genre iceberg that I'll go. So there's not much I don't listen to. So this kind of piqued my interest, and uh, yeah, pretty good video. Um, just um, I forgot. Wait, I'm, I'm trying to trying to realign my train of thought here. But yeah, like I said, for the most part, most of the fighting game music they talk about is actually some pretty good stuff. You know, I mean, good old Street Fighter Two. That's about as iconic as you iconic as you can get right there. You know, Killer Instinct, both the uh, old '90s version and the 2013 game. I mean, Nick Gordon. I mean, he's practically a household name now. I think he did the soundtrack for Killer Inst for the uh, 2013 Killer Instinct. I think he's done the soundtrack for uh, for Doom, the 2016 version. So yeah, he's practically a household name now. So, but like I said, every, the, everything about the video is pretty cool, except for the part where it, it brought back the PTSD, for lack of a better word, like, no, not like Vietnam or anything like that where I went totally ape shit or anything like that, but, you know, um, it just brought back a, brought back a bad memory or two. Um, some of these cast videos, maybe some of the other videos, I've actually tried, uh, I wanted to use Mortal Kombat music. Come to find out later that the shit on there was actually blocked. Like, no, not just, 
not just copyrighted, like, you can play the music, but they're gonna stick ads all over your videos in the process, which is, I always try, which is what I always try to avoid. Like I said, I, I don't like, I won't use copyrighted music on my stuff, because I'm trying to keep my videos ad free. But, I mean, but, I mean, the music that I was checking out, it wasn't just, I mean, it was completely blocked. Like, I could not use it in any of my videos. At all. Like, it's listening only. And I heard something about... Dan Porton. I think that's his name. Um, and something about him transferring his whole music library from YouTube to Spotify or something like that. Kind of like what Joe Rogan did with his podcast. Um, Spotify bought him out, and now all of his uh, stuff is on Spotify, except for, like, uh, a few video clips here and there. Like, you'll no longer find full episodes of his podcasts on YouTube. You gotta go on Spotify and check them out. So, anyway, getting back on topic. But, yeah, this... I mean, this part here kind of... So, yeah, that, that there, it just brought back a few bad memories on that. And... I mean, for those that are... For those that ask, so what? So what? So what is music copyright? It's his music. He can do what he want with it. Um, I give this. I mean, yeah. So it. So was Nintendo. So was uh one of the worst. Yeah. So was uh two of the worst managers that I've ever worked for in my entire life. You know what made them bad? Nobody else. No other manager that I ever worked for did the shit that these guys do. Um, same with Nintendo. What made them so? What made them so evil? No other video game company, or let me rephrase that, few video game companies out there pull the kind of shit that Nintendo does. You know, if everybody was doing what Nintendo does, you know, it's just, you know, par for the course, you know. It's just, it's just what companies do, you know, it just be accepted as fact. But no, like Nintendo, you know, Nintendo slash these two managers that I work for, they're the only ones that do what they do. So, the whole, it's their, well, it's their property. They can do what they want with it. Well, yeah, technically they can. But, you know, again, it's like, they're the, they're the only ones that do this. So, the, at least in my mind, this argument doesn't really, doesn't really carry that much weight. And in fact, um, to kind of prove this point, I actually went through and, uh, mistake number one. Yeah, um, a lot of the games that these guys were mentioning on that video, uh, Third Strike, Street Fighter 3, Third Strike, did a copyright check. It's all free to use. Guilty Gear Strive, it's like a damn three or four hours worth of music on there. All of it, free to use. Uh, Skullgirls, um, hell, they're, uh, they're, uh, they're, all their music is Creative Commons work. Which is a damn good thing, because, uh, Skullgirls has my favorite fighting game soundtrack. I mean, jazz is my favorite genre in music, and this game is just loaded with it. You know? Um, Street Fighter 2, probably the most iconic music ever. Only one track out of that whole soundtrack is, sound is copyrighted. Um, I think it's Guile's theme. But yeah, that's it. Killer Instinct, the old school 90s version. All of it, free to use. Um, the 2013 version, there's like... I think there's, there's like three or four hours worth of music on that game. That's a lot. And out of all that, only four tracks out of all that is copyrighted. Yet, Mortal, yet Mortal Kombat, they're like the one and only holdouts on this. So it just... It just boggles the mind. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take another drink here. You know, and okay, I'm uh, I'm gathering my thoughts together right now. You know, it just you know, but like I said, it kind of it just kind of it just kind of touched off a few flashbacks and bad memories and all that. It just. 
you know, when you're when you're the only one committing, you know, committing the evil that you're doing, it really does stand out. So you know, it was it, it was like you know, it's like that, you know. That's what I was. That's what I was wanting to say, because you know, maybe for that that one moment, or for that one video that I wanted to do that, you know, this Mortal Kombat music would have would have been just perfect for. You know, I would I would have loved to have had this you know this piece of music for this particular video would have been great, man. Would have been you know really would have made this video a piece of art. But no, I can't use it because fucking copyright. So I gotta go. I gotta go find some kind of alternative elsewhere. And yeah, there has been many, many times I've gone through that. Through all these cast videos I've done in the past year, year and a half, there have been exper there have been experiences of me doing this. Just fighting, you know, having this total brainstorm. Oh, this song would be great in my video. Oh God, I gotta. This could be perfect. You do the copyright check. Fuck. Well, let's go find something else. Oh yeah, here, here's something. Uh, I, well, I guess it's merely adequate for what I want to do, you know. So, you know, so kind of a quick recap on that. It's. Hang on, once again, I lost my train of thought. Okay, I'll just. I'll just say fuck it. If I remember, if I remember what it was, then I'll just go ahead. And, I'll just go. I'll go ahead and put it in the description. So. Cool. PC didn't crash. So, but otherwise, um, I'll just go ahead and call it good here. Um, I, I, well, I've said most of the things that I wanted to say, and there's been a few moments where I couldn't remember what it was I wanted to say. So. So almost, almost a great performance. I guess I'd probably give myself a silver medal. So, um, and as far as the, um, as far as the mechanics of this video, um, aside from that one slip up, um, everything else just, everything else went good. So, yeah. Um, but otherwise, hey, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, though, everybody. I always appreciate that. So, and I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow. So, but until then.